You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Live fans, we're going to be talking about the Los Angeles Rams. The Los Angeles Rams and St. Louis. It's been a rocky four years ever since the Rams left from St. Louis to go to Los Angeles. Now, when I was a kid, the Rams were in Los Angeles and in 1995, they moved to St. Louis. And what happened was basically it came down to a stadium deal. They wanted a new stadium in St. Louis, uh, taxpayer funded, and basically it did not work out. So the Rams packed up and left for Los Angeles. Something very similar happened out here in Houston with the Oilers. You remember the Oilers? They won a new stadium and it didn't work out. So now they moved to uh, Tennessee. They became the Titans. However, the Texans are here now back in Houston. Not too many years, roughly, I guess, uh, seven years between the Oilers and, um, and the Texans. But however, now the NFL has settled with St. Louis. Check this out. $790 million settlement in lawsuit over Rams St. Louis departure. The NFL and Rams owner Stan Kroenke will pay $790 million. That is a lot of money. You can almost buy a lower end um, NBA team for that amount. But anyway, they're going to pay $790 million to settle a lawsuit filed by St. Louis interests over the team's relocation to Los Angeles. A joint statement from St. Louis City and County said Wednesday. No details of the settlement were released. And it wasn't immediately clear how much would be paid by Kroenke and how much would be covered by owners of the least 31 of the teams. Quote, this historic agreement closes a long chapter for our region, securing hundreds of millions of dollars for our communities while avoiding the uncertainty of the trial and appellate process. Read a statement from St. Louis Mayor uh, Charisha Jones and St. Louis Executive Sam Page. The St. Louis area officials haven't yet determined how the settlement funds will be used. The statement said the settlement reached in mediation ends a four and a half year lawsuit filed in the wake of the Rams departure. Kroenke and the NFL had failed in bids to have the lawsuit dismissed or at least moved out of St. Louis. And courts were sympathetic to the St. Louis side side's efforts to disclose financial information of team owners. Rulings that hasten the push for a settlement. The case had been scheduled to go to trial uh, January 10th. The lawsuit sought more than one billion dollars. It claimed the team's move cost the St. Louis uh, region millions of dollars in amusement ticket and earnings tax revenue. Then owner jo Georgia Frontier moved the Rams from Los Angeles in 1995 to our hometown of St. Louis where they stayed for 21 seasons before Kroenke moved them back. So there you have it, guys. St. Louis is about, about to get a big, big payday. A big, big payday here. Um, Wow. But here, here's the most interesting thing about this. The most interesting thing about this, there is no promise of an NFL team actually coming back to St. Louis. Now, you would actually think in even in a settlement that St. Louis would want an NFL franchise. I mean, maybe if they went to trial, maybe um, that could have happened. I'm not really sure. But uh, maybe St. Louis just cared more about the money in the short term. Uh, maybe they they were looking at probably what happened with the uh, the Oilers. Houston ended up getting a um, NFL team. So you never know. But man. NFL franchises just don't pop up all the time. Maybe, maybe if like the uh, the Jaguars, you know, decide to get out of Jacksonville, maybe St. Louis could actually be um, of interest to them. Maybe it could be uh, because the Jaguars. I don't believe the Jaguars should be in um, in Jacksonville. I really don't. But maybe St. Louis could be um, of interest if um, Shao Kahn ever decides. You know what? Let me get up on out here. That's pretty much it, guys. The St. Louis Rams are going to be, or the St. Louis area, I should say, 
is going to be seven hundred and ninety million dollars richer, almost eight hundred million dollars. This thing is settled. The case is done. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this black and white live fans? Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to black and white live and we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like comment and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on black and white sports.